All right, guys, as you just read in the title, is the Mustang broke again? All right, guys, we're going to do a cold start on the 85. <clears throat>
All right, guys, we're gonna hook up this compression, this uh, radiator pressure tester. All right, we're gonna hook this up and see if we can find this coolant leak. I removed the cover up here, and I can see down there a little bit better, but we definitely have a coolant leak somewhere. I smell it. Uh, I don't believe it's leaking into the engine. I smell it up here very faintly. Uh, I've been smelling it for a few days. Um, I originally thought it was just because of, you know, putting the motor in and out. You coolant, you spill coolant, you know, and just, I thought it was burning off, but I don't think it's the case anymore. Um, my coolant level has dropped. Again, I had filled it the other day up to here and now it's down to there. So we definitely have a leak somewhere. So let's see if we can find it. 20 pounds in there. You guys can see that. A lot of glare. We got about 20 pounds in there. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Um, see if it drops and we're gonna poke around and see if we see anything leaking. All right guys, we got it on the lift. Uh, I just removed the top engine cover. <clears throat> I'm gonna take off this skirt here, this dressing, and um, we're gonna see what we find. I also am smelling a little bit of coolant in this area, so I have a small coolant leak. I have noticed that my coolant level is dropping very, very slowly. Um, there's nothing I can see by just looking, so I'm gonna have to start removing stuff to find it. And uh, we're also going to look into the um, scavenging pump and see what's going on there and try to bore scope the turbos and see if we got leakage there. All right, guys, I think I found my issue with the oil. So this is the driver's side charge pipe. We disconnected it. This is the driver's side turbo. As soon as we disconnected it, it poured out fluid, a condensation and oil. And if you can see in there, you can actually see, see it on the bottom, a little puddle there. And if you look up here, you can see it dripping. You see it dripping off there? So, <clears throat> I mean, you can see it clearly, see it, it's, it's yellow, it's oily. Um, and you see a little puddle on there. So most likely this is going to be my issue. Um, this is the driver's side air cleaner. It has a breather in it that comes off the driver's side valve cover. So we're gonna clean this all up and I'm gonna re-vent it. I'm gonna vent it into the atmosphere and hopefully the oiling issue goes away, the smoke issue. I really don't believe it's the motor because um, like I said, this didn't happen. It's, it, it took a little time to happen. So, and that's probably why. You see a little puddle in there? I gotta get that out of there. See a little puddle? It literally was full. Like when I, when we opened it up, it was full of condensation and oil. So we're gonna eliminate that. We're gonna vent the um, valve cover into the atmosphere under the hood and until I find a different solution. But I'm almost 100% positive that was the issue. And I think we found the coolant leak. Oh my God. Look, it's this hose. Why? Because you can see a buildup of the silicone. Oh, from yeah. it being Where did that water come down. from? It looks like it's coming. Is it wet? Yeah. It looks like there's a little, might be a little pinhole on this hose at the top. All right, though, we're going to go look into the coolant leak now. So I think we found that as well. All right, guys. Putting it all back together. Um, wasn't able to find any coolant leak. Like I said, it was only barely minimum going down. So we're going to let it run some keep driving it and keep your eye on it and see what's going on. Uh, Eric just went over to Advanced Auto to get a, um, a breather for that. We're not going to vent back into the air cleaner. Uh, I'm really confident that I, we found the issue of the smoking. The smoking was very minimum, but it, it was there. I smelt it. And like I said, when we took off that charge pipe, it just poured out. So. Uh, I believe it was sucking the oil in from the valve cover into the into the air cleaner down through the turbo into the charge pipe and blowing it in through the intake. So I'm uh, pretty confident that that was the issue, but we'll find out. Uh, fingers crossed. Car's running amazing. It really sounds good still. There's no real issues. Um, that was the only issue. Like I said, I was seeing oil, smelling oil. 
um, as I was driving the car coming from the exhaust. So, and it was really only when I got on it, which makes sense that it was pulling the oil through, you know, when the turbos would spool and create boost, it would suck the water and the oil right in. So, pretty confident that that was the issue. So we're gonna put it back together, put a breather on that, and wrap it up and uh, dress it, put the skirt on the top and on the belly pin, and uh, we're gonna go from there. So, it's getting close to dyno day. Them guys are still on vacation. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are still waiting. Be patient, it's going to happen. Um, and like I said, I'm not gonna leave anything out. So, stay tuned. All right guys, we got TikTok all back together engine covers on not smelling any oil anymore but we'll have to drive it some and then uh really go from there it just smells like ethanol got my little breather on there i don't know how well that's gonna last but for the time being that's gonna have to work there she is good old TikTok. Right, we're going to wrap things up here, try to clean some of these tools up, and then um, we're going to head home. So, guys, thanks for watching. Listen, if you haven't already or you don't know the build or you, you're just new to the channel, this is a 2018 Mustang GT. It's a 10R80 car. Uh, it's a 401A package car. has the digital dash in it. There's a lot of mods, a lot of supporting mods for this car. It's going to make some serious power. It hasn't yet made it to the dyno, but real shortly it will. So stay tuned. God bless. Thanks for subscribing.